What's up, Rochacho? Welcome back to the channel. And this is PJ West. Bro Chacho, welcome back. Thank you for watching. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. It's absolutely free. Also, at the end of the video, make sure you like it, please. It really helps me out. So in this video, I'm gonna share with you kind of my experience, everything that the course has to offer, even just from when you walk into the door, the practice facilities, putting greens, course layout, uh, condition of the fairway, condition of the greens. I mean, it's gonna be everything. It's gonna be a full in-depth review. And also make sure you stick around to the end of the video because I'm also gonna score it. I'm gonna give it a Bro Chacho score. Stick around, hope you enjoyed the video. Let's go. All right, right as you pull into the course, uh, to the entrance here, you are greeted by this super cool memorabilia room. It's got a bunch of pictures, quotes, um, some famous people on there. Some people I really don't even know. I mean, they're kind of before my time, but yeah, check it out. One of the things I didn't notice when you walk into the door are the names on the floors here. They got past champions of the, um, I forgot what tournament is called, American Express tournament. But uh, yeah, you got the homie Chad Campbell there, the homie Jesper, got Jonathan Vegas, another homie. Uh, this guy, yeah, he's not a homie, he's a cheater, Patrick Reed. You can tell that this was filmed in December. Um, this was actually the first week of December it is supposedly the best time to come out to this course. It's in perfect conditions. All in all, I'll give this course or this entrance here a solid 9 out of 10. As soon as you're done eating your breakfast burrito, don't be afraid to stop by this bathroom here and um, yeah, you know, take a deuce. It's got multiple stalls for you. That way you're not waiting for, for another person. And yeah, if you're constantly waiting, I mean, it can, it can ruin your day. Pro shop here, it's pretty big. Got a lot of variety as far as different souvenirs and you know emergency golf balls that you can get. Um, yeah, make sure you check it out. Now, as soon as you walk out of the pro shop, you are greeted by this wonderful view here of the course. You got the big PGA West sign right there. Got a bunch of palm trees. Um, yeah, this is this is where you know you're in uh, paradise here. Now, one of my favorite parts of going to any of these type of resort courses or championship courses is the practice area they have like at this course i think they got like two or three putting greens i mean they're huge it's got a big practice facility where you can hit balls or like a practice range it's got like 30 to 40 stalls i mean i don't know how many there are in there there's a bunch of them yeah there's multiple people here whacking balls hoping to break 100. now one thing you gotta know as well is that you don't have to pay for range balls here they're all provided with your green piece and yeah, just whack away, hit at different targets there. One of the cool things that this course has is that they ha they provide an alignment rod or two alignment rods, a golf towel, and in, of course you got the little pyramid balls there. You can see here, this is the other, this is the chipping area. I believe there's like two of them. They also have a bunker as well. And same thing, you don't have to pay for any of this. This is all included in your green fee. There's the other bunker I was talking about. And that's the other practice screen. But man, look at that view though. Mm -mm. Let's talk about the golf cart situation here. They are, I guess they're above average. I mean, the, the seats weren't torn or anything, but there was nothing special about this golf cart. One thing that's pretty cool is the screen on the bottom here. Usually it's always on top and it's a, like a little tiny screen. This one is a good size screen. It gives you 
you know, kind of where to hit. And of course, you got your standard ball holders there. You got four cup holders, tees, and then you have your cubbies on the right and on the left as well. Now, this cart does have Bluetooth speakers, which is pretty cool. You don't have to pay for that. Just put in the code and then you're connected. All right, let's get to my favorite part of the course here, and it is the grass. Just even on the tee boxes here, there's no blemishes other than that little tee box you see right there, but they're not even using that tee box, so you don't even have to worry about it. But the actual plain tee boxes, they are completely flat. There's no uneven lies. And again, you have that nice little perfect carpet grass. Check out this fairway. I mean, it's oh God, that's it's just so nice. It has that little cushion whenever you hit that ball solid. It just compresses really well. Um, your club interacts with the with the turf. So nice. It's yeah, it's just perfect. And the rough here, you don't have to worry about missing right or left. I mean, other than like there's a bunch of big bunkers, but the rough here is actually very forgiving. It's not very deep. I mean, I, I missed a bunch of fairways and I was perfectly fine. The ball just kind of sits up a little bit, but you can see here, I mean, the rough is about one inch deep, maybe. Yeah, that's like what, one digit there? Not very deep. So if you miss a fairway, if you spray the ball off the tee, you're gonna be all right. One thing that this course does have, like I said, is these crazy bunkers all over the place. I mean, they're they're huge and they're they're everywhere. This course also has some really cool holes. This is hole number 17. It's an island green. It's called the Alcatraz. It's about 140, 150 yards, depending on the tee boxes that you're playing out of. I did not hit the green here. I, I came up a little short and hit the rock and yeah, I just went in the water. Maybe next time. This is another very cool par three hole. I think it was playing about 190 yards, 185, 190 yards. Very difficult hole. All around the course is difficult. It's a, it's a long course, but also depends on the tee boxes you're playing out of. There's multiple tee boxes for all skill levels. The green fees here, um, they start anywhere from the high 100s and it can get down to the low 100s, even in the 80s, 80 range, depending on the the day that you play and also the time. Obviously, if you're playing Twilight, you can get it much cheaper around. But I highly, highly recommend this course to any golfer that wants to get out and wants to have like a little getaway golf trip with a few buddies or even a solo around, man. Honestly, you're gonna have a good time out here. Definitely worth the money. Now, I had this whole point system that I was going to grade this course. Um, yeah, I got, I got a little confused on that, or at least how I was going to score it, but I'm just going to give it a solid A. I mean, it is one of the best courses I've ever played at. The conditions were great. People I played with were awesome. Yeah, definitely got to check it out. Before you leave, I want you to drop in the comment section below if you think I hit this green. Now, I'm going to show you here, but yeah, pause the video really quick. Let me know what you think. Do I hit the green? Do I miss it short? Do I miss the left? Long? Let me know. Oh, right into the freaking embankment, man. I think it's right at the right. top of the embankment. Right. Yeah, by that reaction, I still didn't, I never found that ball. I don't know what happened to that ball. Well, guys, thank you for watching. If you made it this far, I appreciate every one of you for watching this video. Make sure you like it. Subscribe if you're not a subscriber. I will see you guys on the next one. Peace.